Welcome back, guys, and today you're joining us from the campsite out here on Rockrunner's Mud Park. And it is a really exciting day out here, by the way, because we have three incredible trucks at our disposal to run through the Mud Park. Now, quick thing to get out of the way right off the bat, all three of these trucks are very obviously branded and therefore PC only, and they are available through Yabuddy. Yeah and I'll leave a link in the description box down below to where you can check out his Discord. Now, let's take a look at the three trucks that we're going to be having fun with. With today. First up, we have this Ram 3500 single wheel with some giant swampers on it. This thing is going to be an absolute blast to drive, and out of the three, it's definitely one of my personal favorites. Next up, we have this. This is a GMC Denali, and or I should say Denali HD, and once again, we're running some massive Baja Claws on, I believe these are trail-ready bead locks. This thing is solid axle swapped, it's tuned, it's upgraded, every single thing. I mean, massive amounts of air, massive amounts of fuel. This thing is absolutely ready to rip anything apart that you put in front of it. And last but most certainly not least, we have this F250. Now, this has the smallest tires out of the three, but as we've seen previously... Smaller tires don't necessarily mean an automatic loss, even in mud in this game. Now, this one is no slouch in terms of power either. And as a matter of fact, we have a very, very powerful setup in this thing that is absolutely ready to rip. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and fire this thing up and we'll begin our tests. This thing sounds so good. I will never, ever, ever get away from how incredible this thing sounds. So as we head on out of camp, I think we're going to make a quick left and head down to one of the main mud pits. And as you can see, let me go ahead and do a quick launch for y'all. This thing is not slow. Three, two, one, full send. You got to make sure you get the shift right. So basically what you have to do is launch it in automatic, immediately shift up to high, and then immediately shift it right back into automatic again. We're running the off-road gearbox with the highest engine power setup. And that's the reason for that is because we're going to be mudding. So I think the first, you know what? Actually, nah, we're not going to go to this one right off the bat. We're going to go straight to probably one of the deepest mud, well, I shouldn't say one of the deepest mud pits, but definitely one of the most challenging mud pits on this entire map. And it'll also give us a little bit of, a uh, little bit of time to familiarize ourselves with the way these trucks drive on a back road. Wow, this thing whips itself into corners. Absolutely just like throws the entire weight of the truck to the side, but it kind of helps it corner. I mean, look at that. That is incredible in terms of handling. And the wild thing is, you know, it has all of this, you know, body roll and body movement, but it doesn't translate to it immediately flipping over. It actually seems to help the truck rotate a good bit. Now, this thing is gonna have an interesting run. I am definitely, definitely ready. Three, two, one, let's go! Oh, well that went well. Are you seriously stuck already? No way, are you actually stuck? Holy crap. I did not realize that we were going to get the Ford stuck that fast. I mean, I'm in low. Literally, I'm in... Can I back up? No? Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, that was actually a bit short-lived for the Ford in that particular mud pit. I thought that was going to go on for a lot longer, genuinely. I thought we were going to have a much longer run out of that. That's nothing against the Ford. I was just thinking that it was going to go on a good bit further. Now, let's try the GMC and see what it's all about, especially when we throw it into that mud pit. I love the green LEDs in the bumper. They look so good. They look so freaking good. Now... I'll be curious to know if this is going to make it farther than the Ford or not. I have a feeling it might make it a little bit farther, but I don't think it's going to be a dramatic difference. I really don't. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong, it's very quick. Let's go and see if we can get a launch out of it. Like, it's quick, but actually I think the Ford feels quicker. I think the Ford's got more aggressive gearing in it for sure. Yeah, we definitely should have taken this route earlier because we literally, instead of driving around the large mud pit, we could have driven straight here and we would have been fine. All right, let me back this thing up. We're going to do the same kind of launch just to keep things even. Three, two, one, send it. Yo, what? All right. 
We definitely made it a little bit farther, for sure, and it's still going, and I think the reason behind that is the fact that this truck just sits a little bit higher. We were able to get a higher suspension on this thing than we were on the Ford, and that definitely plays a big role. I mean, the Ford was starting to bury its axle, but this thing didn't make it much further. This thing definitely is facing a lot of challenges right now, but the bumper is in the ground, and it's still pressing on. Come on! Dude, this is some nasty mud. I mean, and it's wild because in real life, these trucks would be getting stuck too. I mean, they are actually performing really close to how I think they would perform in real life. Now, the going has gotten a little bit slow with this thing. So I think what we'll do is we'll let it be right about there. And then now it's time to grab the Dodge. And I'm curious to know how this is actually going to turn out because this thing definitely has the most mud truck style setup on it. And it's also got the biggest tires. So, you know, in theory, you would think, well, that'll probably give it the best performance in the mud. I don't know. We'll have to see. God, that big cam sound is just incredible. Let's see. Can this go up anymore? Oh, wow, it goes up a lot. Now, granted, I did not put the other trucks into high mode on the suspension, so I'm not going to do it here. I want to keep it fairly, like, you know, fair. I don't want to give one truck a giant amount of advantage over the others. All right, let's pull out onto the back road and do a boosted launch. All right, we're spooling, we're spooling, we're spooling, and go! It feels pretty quick. It feels quicker than the Duramax, but not quite as quick as the Power Stroke. That's, and, and that could be wrong, but I'm just going off of, like, actual feel. Okay, so we see where the Power Stroke is. We see where the Duramax is. Let's see. I'm thinking we go just to the right of the Chevy, just to see if we can get the kind of approach I want. And go! See how far it'll go in high. Holy smokes! All right. It was ripping for sure. It was ripping until it wasn't. It was ripping until, like, the mud got ridiculously deep. Easy. It's still moving, though. I've got to give it that. It is definitely still moving. It hasn't come to, like, a hard stop. And that's usually where I stop these trucks is, like, the second they come to, like, a hard stop, they're spinning. It's clear that they're not making much more progress. That's where I stop them. But, uh, wow. The Dodge is pulling. Oh my god. The Dodge is absolutely monstering this stuff. That's insane. That's absolutely nuts. And I'm going to give that to the fact that it's got larger tires on it. I'm I'm not going to say it's like because of like Dodge versus Chevy and Ford. I'm literally going to just give it to the fact that it's got bigger tires on it. Because in the mud, tire height is going to be one of your biggest contributing factors. Absolutely. Now, I think unless we wanted to try to get this thing all the way down to the other end, I think we've definitely proven our point with this truck. I don't think we need to prove that point any more than we already have. What we'll do now is we'll extract the other two trucks and we'll go and put this one in reverse. We'll do a little winch extraction out of the mud. Almost there. Not bad. Now, how much higher does this thing go on the suspension? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're not worried about that then. Now, I have one more test that I think they should all, all perform. Let's switch into the Denali now. We'll extract this one from the mud. That's close enough. Come on. I don't know why I had the handbrake on. It wasn't like it was going to roll away. I mean, it's literally in a mud pit that it can't drive any further through. So it would stand to reason that it's also not going to roll away on me. Let's back you up until you're on basically solid ground. Boom, you're good. All right, now we just got to get the ram out of here. And the ram, it's not like it's going to be a big deal, but... I'm going to just kind of pull it around. I'm going to literally turn it around on the edge of the mud pit because it's just that wild. I think we should be able to just drive it back on the edge. And if we have any issues with that, we've literally got a winch right here. Bro, this is cruising. That's great. That's freaking great. All right. I will say, since this one definitely won that mud pit, uh, victory horn time. 
would say that was warranted. All right, now for this last bit, we're gonna change up the transmission tune a little bit. We're gonna go with the highway transmission on each truck, and we're gonna launch them off the jump into the pond. I figure this is probably one of the best ways we could do like a proper big finish. So we're gonna bring them around, the, around this corner, and then we're gonna try to get these things up into like sixth or seventh gear to launch them off of the jump into the pond. I think that's probably gonna be the craziest way we could finish this off. All right, let's see what the Dodge can do. Oh boy, messed up my approach line a little bit there. Come on, shift. It was still in sixth. Wow. Dude, I gotta give it to it. If we gave this thing enough time to drive out, it would just drive out. That's incredible. That's pretty amazing. The fact that, like, if I if I gave it enough time, it would just drive itself right out. I, I cannot say enough good things about how wild that truck is. It jumped perfectly flat. It landed perfectly smooth. I mean, it had a little bit of a bounce on landing, but nowhere near, like, bouncing back up into the air or anything like that. It never felt like it was going to flip over on me. It never felt like it was going to get, you know, weird or go haywire. It was just doing what it was going to do. Wow, this thing got up into seventh gear. Holy smokes. All right, let's get you turned around. And now it's going to be the GMC's turn off that massive jump. All right, there's sixth. Take that turn a little wide. All right, we should be up in seventh now. Hit the ramp. Oh, God. Oh, that was a lot more of a nose-heavy landing. Like, way more nose-heavy. All right, well, that's not necessarily as far as I thought it would go, and definitely not as far as the Ram. But here's the thing. I think the Ford is probably going to make it the farthest, especially with the highway transmission in it. Because this thing is so fast. I mean, and I'll just do another launch with the highway transmission setup to demonstrate to you guys what I'm talking about. Look at this. Highway transmission setup launch. It's... Look, look, look at that. It's like, it launches like a drag truck. It is so incredibly fast. And it's also got an additional gear on the other two. The other two in automatic mode have seven gears. This thing's got eight. And when you have an extra gear on top of all of this power and all this boost, I mean, you're gonna be putting work in, that's for sure. All right, we're sixth. Fifth, sixth, I am driving like absolute garbage. Okay, seventh. Go, oh, oh my God. <laughs> so we actually touched a tire on the GMC's hood, but didn't end up actually going as far as the Dodge. I know we drove the Dodge a little bit, but I know we didn't drive it all that far. But if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section down below which one of these trucks you would take home. And if you would like to see more of these videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.